Okay. <laughs> All you self promoters are janky. We established like the Yankees. What's up, y'all? It's Naira. Welcome to my channel. Or welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, today I'm going to be telling you guys my unpopular opinions. And I know you're going to want to fight after this. So subscribe to me. Go add me on Snapchat and follow me on Instagram before you hear my opinions. So that way, once you get mad at me, you'll, you'll be too upset to even like unsubscribe and all that. All right. So. So. Nobody fight me after this. Everybody gonna wanna fight after this. I think now, and I always have thought that drugstore makeup is better than high-end makeup, better in price, and a lot of times nowadays, better in like performance. Like the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation, no foundation can like hold a candle to that, whether it's drugstore or high-end right now. Don't even at me. Am I in focus? I'm over here talking all this crap. Am I even focused? Yeah, I think high-end makeup, I think luxury makeup brands are just after your money. I think they are willing to put anybody's name on it if it means that they are going to make a lot of money and steal from you. I think that Shane Dawson doing a series on Jake Paul is a great idea because who are we as people on the internet to just look at Jake and go, mm, that's terrible. It's terrible that he acts like that. Why is nobody asking why? We have to remember that Jake Paul is a real person. Is he a jerk? Yes. Is he an idiot? Yes. Has he made mistakes in the past? Yes. However, we can't sit here and act like he's not a real person. Think about if this was one of your family members and everyone else around them or people that don't even know them are saying, oh my God, look at this idiot. It's a shame that he acts like that. But there's a reason. You don't know why people act the way that they act. And so you, after you have all the facts, go ahead and judge him. There are still gonna be people that just don't like Jake Paul after this because this series is not made for us to like him. This series is made for us to understand why he is the way that he is. It's like psychology, like you want to understand the mind of serial killers. That doesn't mean that you're going to like them. That doesn't mean that you're going to approve of the fact that they're murderers. It means that you want to get you want to get an understanding of why they did what they did. What's the difference? Because it's Jake Paul. He doesn't have a right to be humanized. I think that's wrong. I also think that documentaries don't belong on YouTube unless Shane is doing it. And I know that's like 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 what no i think shane started the documentary thing and i think it should be solely his thing everybody is like really into it and people will just eat it up if people go into documentary style videos right now because shane put it on and that's not fair nobody else should be able to capitalize off of what shane started Who? how do i put this how do i say this without getting dragged on the internet i shouldn't even talk about it honestly i think that twitter is trash twitter is trash unless you want to know about gossip if it's not, if you're not getting on Twitter for gossip or memes, what are you getting on there for? I think the thought, the idea, the concept of people just saying whatever is on their mind is stupid because at the end of the day, nobody cares what you're thinking about. That's the truth. Not only do I think Rihanna is better than Beyonce, but I feel like Rihanna is, how do I put it? I don't know, Rihanna's just more exciting to me. Please don't drag me Beyonce stands. I didn't say I don't like Beyonce. I love Beyonce, but Rihanna just excites me more. Y'all are gonna drag me. All I'm gonna say is that I think Rihanna is more exciting than Beyonce. I also think that Beyonce is overhyped. Um, I feel like Beyonce gets too, too, too much credit. She's an amazing performer, an amazing singer, an amazing dancer, but the way her stands act about her literally scares me. Like, it's scary. It's also scary to think what people are gonna say about me after I post this video. Here's a better way to put it. It's not that it's not that Beyonce gets too much credit. It's that Beyonce's fans go way too hard. That's exactly what it is. Because Beyonce does deserve credit for how incredibly, incredibly talented she is. So to say that she should not be as credited as she is is inaccurate. I'm going to say her fans need to chill out. Beyonce fans act like she is like the father son and the holy spirit like it is weird it is weird to idolize another person like that and honestly it creeps me out 
for real like there are some people that are just way too obsessed with beyonce i think that we owe soldier boy a lot more credit than he gets because he is the person that created the path for this generation of stupid music I think people like Quavo, I think people, or not even Quavo, the Migos, I think the Migos, I think people like the Migos, Chief Keef, like Lil Pump, that sound couldn't have happened if it wasn't for Soulja Boy being the first person, the first like young person to come in the rap game and just be stupid and have fun. Soulja Boy was the first person to do that. You can say, well, Little Bow Wow was a young person who was, but Little Bow Wow was really rapping. You know, like, Little Bow Wow was making, like, music because he wanted it to be on the radio. Obviously, they knew Soulja Boy was going to hit the radio because they had a dance to it. And, like, the dance crazes were in at that time. But Soulja Boy was the first young artist to just be stupid. If you were old enough to, like, be around when Crank That Soulja Boy came out, you know your parents told you to stop listening to that stupid song then Soulja Boy was like the first person to do that. And now that is like a normal thing. When we just hear stupid music playing on the radio, it's like, oh, this song's stupid. But that's normal now, because Soulja Boy did that. We owe him more credit. Obviously, he would probably get more credit if he wasn't so stupid. If he acted like what he was worth, he would have more credit. I think that the older generation is rude. They talk about young people not having manners, but honestly, the rudest people that I meet are older people like people right now that are in their 50s to 70s i don't really know what generation that is because i'm dumb oh i'm not dumb i don't know what generation that is called but those people are mad rude they're rude they're racist and they think they know everything and i just can't i really can't just thinking about it honestly it could make me mad i think a lot of people that are youtubers right now are doing it because it's the wave and not because they want to do this because they're passionate about it or they want to do it as a career and you know they're just really driven about it i think people are doing it because they're like if i'm cute or if i have a decent personality i can make money because somebody's gonna watch me and that gets on my nerves i hope that sometime soon this like this weird obsession with everyone wanting to be a youtuber goes away because adsense sucks just let's just keep it a hundred everybody i know every youtuber says that but like seriously guys adsense well you know what it also adsense does not suck as bad as youtubers make you think like youtubers make you think that they're getting millions of views and 20 dollars. nah fam it ain't like that adsense is not that bad if you put a couple of ads throughout your video and you're getting like like hundreds of thousands of views you gonna be i right. like they be bugging and they be big youtubers too like adpocalypse oh my god adsense is dying so make sure you support me when i get sponsorships like they really they just want more money i promise you your favorite youtuber if they have more than five if they have more than 300k your favorite youtuber is not they're not struggling honestly that's the that's the truth to you <coughs> i don't know i feel like the the person that James Charles is on the internet is not for me, but as a real person, he seems like he would be cool. James Charles, please don't strangle me. I'm just kidding. If you want to fight, we can fight. I'm just joking. Oh my God, I'm just joking. I think that people are not too sensitive. People are just smart. It is 2018 and people finally have a brain. People finally understand that what's going on in the world is weird and that it's not 1942. We shouldn't still be fighting for equal rights for anyone straight gay black white we shouldn't be like nobody should have to fight for equality in 2018 and so when people are like well everybody's so sensitive i can't joke about this i can't post a meme about this yeah i made a rape joke but it was just a joke like we have to stop treating things as just a joke because just a joke is normalizing it so i don't think there's any such thing as being too sensitive if something offends you it offends you and you have 100% a right to be offended as a minority. I think Instagram is like, Instagram is the best of the social medias. And I'm not sure if that's unpopular. Well, it kind of is unpopular because I know a lot of people say that about Twitter. To me, Instagram is the best because I am a visual person. I love pictures and I love myself. So Instagram is just like perfect to me. I get to post pictures of myself. And I'm a visual person, so I get to see pictures of other things and other people. Aesthetics is important to me, and selfies are important to me. And so, 
So honestly, Instagram is just like that chick to me. Instagram is that chick. I think that the Kardashians are talented. There is some level of talent if you are still around after you had a sex tape come out like what, 15 years ago or like 10, like 10, 15 years ago, there's some talent there. You can have a sex tape of yourself leaked, capitalize off of it and become one of the richest people in the world and pull your family up with you. And y'all trying to tell me the Kardashians aren't talented? No. Like, like Kylie Jenner and James Charles said in their collab, being business savvy is a talent. I will never understand and I will never relate to people that try to bring them down because they don't have, because they don't sing or because they don't dance. We have enough of that. Honestly, we have enough singers and we have enough dancers. Honestly, why do we need the Kardashians to sing or dance or act? Like, get out of here. And you know what? They all model. So if you want to get technical, want to get technical, they they all model. So they're all talented. Boom. There it is. Stop asking what the talent is. You know what else? Kim, well, honestly, I don't think the other ones, uh, like, like uh, Kendall and Kylie and Kim Courtney, I don't think they design like their games. But we know for a fact, because she said it multiple times, Kim Kardashian played a huge part in like designing her own like Kim Kardashian Hollywood whatever game so her being an app developer isn't a talent like I really don't get it honestly I don't get it let me ask you this people that people like Steve Jobs what did he do he developed technology and he was big he was in he was a big and he I don't know English Steve Jobs developed technology and he was a businessman Kim Kardashian has done the same thing are we gonna sit here and say that Kim Kardashian isn't talented? Kim Kardashian, who has in a in a similar but different way done what Steve Jobs has done. We're gonna sit here and say Steve Jobs isn't talented because we can't call Kim Kardashian talented. Absolutely not. Kim didn't make no iPhone. Kim didn't make no computer. I understand that. But Kim Kardashian, at the very least, is a model. And she is a app developer. Now what? Why are we not discrediting people that are on like Real Housewives? Why are why are we not talking about all the time how none of them have talent? They're reality TV stars. If they want that to be their talent, that can be their talent. Keeping up the Kardashians has been on what, 13 seasons? Come on. I think that Bad Baby is a marketing, well, or her team. She has a team of marketing geniuses. I think that Bad Baby, honestly, what is a genius. I think her and her team are just geniuses. For you to be, you know how many people have been on Dr. Phil for cursing out their mamas? And look at them. Now look at her. Man, Shawty is really a billionaire and she like has a full music career because she was cursing out her mama, Dr. Phil. She honestly, she is so paid right now. My mama would never go like that. So I know my come up ain't gonna be the same as hers. I ain't never gonna come up off uh, cursing out my mama. Cause my mama will kill me. So can't relate, but she is so paid right now. And it's so smart how she did that. How she understood, well, this kind of music is what's in right now. And people are paying attention to me. So this is what I'm gonna do. Let's get this money. Genius. I think that Astro World sucked. I'm so sorry. Now, I I really am not a huge fan of Travis's music, but I think that Astro World was not it at all. And I did give it the fair shot. I listened to it. I tried to see if songs would grow on me. The only song I can tolerate off of Astro World is Sicko Mode. Sorry, not sorry. This next unpopular opinion is kind of biased, but I think Kylie Jenner doesn't get enough credit. I think that Kylie is obviously super passionate about her cosmetic line and it's obvious that she's super hands on and she's not just throwing collections out of here. Everything is thought out from the packaging to the name. I'm not even saying that she has the best makeup line. I'm not saying that, oh my God, her products are so good and they're so much better than everybody else's. I'm saying she does not get enough credit. She does not get enough 
recognition because Kylie actually puts in work. There are a lot of celebrities out here just slapping their name on stuff, including your favorite YouTubers. I don't care. It's true. There are a lot of people out here just slapping their name on stuff so that they can make money. And Kylie is out here just like working her tail off and people don't really address Kylie Cosmetics as much as they should nowadays. Honestly get too much credit for their boring freaking their boring content. It's like once your name gets big in the beauty community you can you pretty much get away with posting anything. I think Manny Amy Way, Laura Lee, like uh like I don't know how all of them got so popular in the first place. Like Okay, yeah, all the, the scandals happen with the woo-woo. Take all that away from it. How did they get that popular in the first place? They're boring. If you ask me, Patrick Star, exciting. Patrick Star, exciting. Jeffree Star, exciting. Nikki Tutorials. Actually, I used to stay in Nikki Tutorials. She, she's not that, um, she's not boring. Nikki is really exciting. Well, not exciting, but Nikki's interesting to watch because she actually has a personality and she's not like, hey guys, let's put on eyeshadow. All right, and to finish up my unpopular opinions, I don't think that any of the YouTubers that are big now or are gonna be big in like, or okay, the YouTubers that are big right now in 2018, I think a new wave of YouTubers is coming and it has to be because people are getting bored of the same old content and there are way too many new, funny, exciting, talented, whatever people. There are way too many of us new smaller youtubers for the people that are big now to remain the top dogs mark my words i am raven simone you heard it here first all right my hubby's yelling at me because i'm late for a movie so i gotta go if i didn't make you want to fight me subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video Mode is a janky. We established like the Yankees. This whole fucking game thankless. We moving militant, but somehow you the one tanking. No limit to why I could take it. And you know me as a Chris bottle sender. Check pick up. Uh, I thought we looked out for one another. Saw us all as brothers in the struggle. Too blessed to be humble. I guess it's different in the city I come from. All of a sudden I got.